Hello everyone, welcome to GoTerran TV. I'm Taryn, the traveling trainer of GoTerran Personal Training here in the greater Atlanta area. And today we have the returning world's most dangerous announcer, Mr. Gary Michael Capetta on GoTerran TV. We're going to have him here shortly. Please let me remind everyone out there to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to also like the video, share it with your friends, and leave us a comment while you're at it. So remember also that GoTerran Personal Training is your time, your investment, and your life. Stay tuned for Gary Michael Capetta. Hey everybody, welcome back, and as you can see, side by side, we're welcoming back the world's most dangerous announcer, Mr. Gary Michael Capetta. Gary, how are you doing today? I'm doing really well. I'm rested up after my uh, my Southern tour. Yes, yeah, absolutely. The Southern tour, and uh, I'm excited to hear how the rest of it went because I caught you on the uh, beginning part of it. You and I got to finally meet face to face, and uh, I got to say it was a lot of fun. I'm not going to spoil it here for the folks, uh, if they're watching and they're going to go see your show, I'm not going to give away anything um so i'm gonna you know deviate the conversation and just sing and how the uh, rest of the tour went because the first night was in atlanta conyers specifically my neck of the woods and uh, i think it would be okay to talk a little bit about the show yeah maybe a little bit and not give too much away but um what it's i it's kind of it's kind of like knowing what the matches are going to be yeah there you go you have to go to experience them that's a really good analogy yeah yeah i like that yeah it, and yeah, I got to say this, just as a fan, uh, I loved the show. I, I mean, it was so impressive. I told you, I think, uh, that evening how I was really impressed with the whole presentation of it. It was very, very professionally well done. Like the music, the video, and you also, you know, for the one I'm talking about where I met you, you had Mr. Hughes out there too. So how cool was that? That was a really extra bonus yeah. treat too. That was really neat. That was really, really cool. I had I had fun. And that was a, a really nice little theater. Mm -hmm. So the environment was good. Um yeah, it, it, it's a little different every night because I know where I'm going um, in each segment of the show, but how I get there is different. Yeah. Um, sometimes there's something that catches my eye in the audience and, you know, I'll wander off. Sometimes I'll go into a rant about something. Um, it's never absolutely the same, uh -huh. but I do, you know, I always pay tribute to Gorilla Monsoon. I thought that was um, so. I, that might have been my favorite part of the whole thing. I think actually. Really? Why is that? Uh, he, well, it, my favorite uh, announcing team growing up together were Gorilla Monsoon and Bobby the Brain Heenan. So seeing that uh -huh. personally, I just thought that was tremendous. Seeing those older uh, pictures of him, I honestly didn't never seen him uh, before his mid WWF days. You know, when he was um, pre uh, WWF, and and so that was really cool to see that. I thought that was really touching. That was really neat. You know, and the uniqueness was you know as a young guy seeing him with his his children. Oh you know, my I'm, God. Yeah. Yeah. That was you know, whatever. It was in the same way. I, when I did the, um, the McMahon family photo album, that was pretty cool too. Yeah. Th those, those are the, neat. <laughs> those are, uh, pictures that not many people have seen. Yeah. Of, uh, the family growing up, you know? Well, I think I mentioned this to you too, Gary, um, that after the show, I, I felt like a kid again. Like I felt like nostalgic, like it was back in the eighties and, uh, there, I mean, it brought back so many memories. I haven't felt like that in a long time. It's the best night in my life in a long, long time. I mean, because again, um, I don't remember being able to, you know, uh, sit through something like that and experience like nostalgia and just bringing it back. And that was like my favorite time of wrestling growing up. So as a personal, like a fan, it was, I would love, I, that thing flew by so fast. I think I told you, like, it was like two hours. It felt like 10 minutes. I felt like I wanted more. And it was just like, man, uh, could have been there all night just being able to uh, go well, through that. Well, that would have been cool. You can come to Asbury Park Saturday night. That's what I was going to ask you, you about. <laughs> or you can come to Louisville on the 4th. Right, the or week you can after. come to New York City, Queens, New York on the, the 11th. The week after that. So, yeah, you've got three busy weekends coming up back to back to back here. So let me ask you about the Asbury Park one here because that's in your neck of the woods. How far is that from where you live at? Uh, it's about a half hour. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so that's really cool. So you'll uh, probably get to sleep in your own bed then uh, during that show probably. <laughs> this is true. I um <laughs> Asbury Park is special to me because it was the first place as a kid where I was brought to see wrestling oh, cool. at Convention okay. Hall in Asbury Park. And then I think I, I probably announced more promotions that came through Asbury Park than like I, I announced uh, WWF. I announced NWA, WCW, um, you know, 
and then a lot of independent shows mm -hmm. where I met Victor the Wrestling Bear. Have you ever seen Victor the Wrestling Bear? Uh, I mean, a real bear. I, I recall seeing wrestlers wrestle uh, bears, but I, I didn't know the name was yes. Victor, though. That's uh, okay. Huh. There were, there were a couple of them, but this was Victor that, you know, on this particular night. And when I, when I got there, I didn't know he was going to be there. And when I got there, I found out that they expected that I was going to, <laughs> that I was going to feed him a bottle of Coca-Cola, like hold it up for him. Like, so, and I, I said, no, nah, I don't think I want to get that close to Victor. You know, we, we don't know each other and he was muzzled, you know, and he probably was declawed. I, I don't know. But I, I didn't want to get that close. But I, and I do talk about Victor in my uh, in my book, Body Slams. Yeah, I, I seen the pictures of, uh, you know, it must have been Victor wrestling. Um, I don't remember the wrestlers that wrestled him, but uh, I know that was back in the, I guess, what, late 70s, roughly we're talking about, maybe early 80s. Uh, this was yeah. This would this would have been uh, the late eighties. Oh, late eighties. Oh, okay. WWF. Okay. And usually he wrestled his handler, but oh. most people didn't know that. Oh, interesting. Okay. So they were very familiar. <laughs> they were very <laughs> rehearsed and familiar with each other. Oh, cool. But, yeah. But I wasn't rehearsed with him. That was my. That was what I was trying to tell the promoter. Like I don't know. We don't. We're not like on first night. Well, I I call him Victor, but he doesn't call me Gary. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, you're really not on first name basis. So Asbury Park is, you know, it's uh, it's just special. And I wanted to do the show. Um, and it's the first time the show is being done in my home state. And so for, I mean, I've done, um, oh, I've done about 14 of them. And this is the first time in New Jersey. Oh, how cool. How exciting. That, that's going to be fun. So uh, you definitely have to have some friends and family come and join. And again, it's such a short drive for you, too. That's tremendous. What's the venue oh, yeah. like? What, what's it going to be like uh, where you're going? It's a uh, it's called the Lake House, mm -hmm. which is a music. Um, they teach music there, instruments, and but this is a um, hmm. It's a rehearsal hall. It's okay. very intimate. There, you know, there are only going to be about fifty seats. Okay. So which okay. is why I keep on telling people, you know, pick up your tickets early because I, I I would it would kill me to turn people away. I, I, it would, it would just hurt, but, um, you know, people will come when they, you know, when they come, they'll buy when they buy, but I'm telling you, there are only, I think 50 seats. It's mm -hmm. a very small, intimate venue. Yeah. That, that's how the wrestling fans are. They're notorious for last minute, uh, purchasing and, um, going back to the, uh, one in Atlanta, uh, that, uh, theater was really cute. I thought it was a really cute little intimate, uh, theater and the setting was really cool. Um, and you know, um, I, I think, let, let me just reverse and go back here. What was some of the highlights of, uh, the last three shows between Conyers and Tampa and Orlando for you? Um, well, like you said, I had Mr. Hughes as a guest. That was cool. That was really cool. Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Um, E. Brian Blair, Killer B. I saw that he on your Facebook. Yeah. Tampa. Mm -hmm. Uh, David Penzer was in Tampa. Came I saw out that to the too. Show. Yeah. Yeah. That was cool. Um, Bob Cook came out to the show in Tampa. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that was, that was fun too. Um, and, and that venue was, it was different from where you went, mm -hmm. where you went is going to be more like, uh, Louisville and Queens, New York. There's small black box theaters. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. and you know, there are no frill theaters there. They seat about 90 people, those, those theaters. And, um, but it's my job to take the audience and, and make them escape, make them go someplace else through, you know, the stories that I'm telling them and, and the video that I'm showing. So I, I can do the show anywhere. Um, really, I just need a sound system and I'm good. Yeah, like I said, Gary, I thought that the presentation was just very professionally done and sharp. But let me ask you, um, who helped, uh, you know, design the presentation itself? Or are you just really good, like techie and computer and all that kind of stuff? Um, I'm not, I did it all. Um, but I had prepared for years, mm -hmm. um, videos for my classes. That makes sense. You know, while, yeah. when I was teaching, you know, At that's Christian essentially uh, a power. Yeah. That would, that's essentially a PowerPoint with video in it and a lot of bells and whistles. So when you do them, you know, when you're teaching kids verb forms <laughs> and vocabulary, <laughs> you have to make it a little interesting. You have to make it a little different. So, um, you know, so that 
you just don't show a banana on the screen to teach them how to say platano. You have the <laughs> banana fly in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or you have, you know, someone dressed as a banana. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to say, like, as I reiterated, it, I felt like a kid again with the music, with the, you know, um, whole ambience and the atmosphere. Um, it just flowed so well with uh, between hearing the sounds, the ring bell and the fans cheering and then you doing the narration of it, you're really taken there in a different world and just like, wow, it's like you're sitting ringside and seeing all these different stories. You know, we talked about the, you know, Mick Foley ear ripped off and um, the Arn Anderson scissor fight with Sid and everything else. So uh, those are just so cool to see that, you know, uh, in that kind of uh, format. And again, like you said, with pictures and videos we've not seen before. And anything that anyone wanted to know more about, we reserve time at the end so that there's a short question and answer. Yeah. Um, but do you see now why it's difficult for me to explain what it is? <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right. It's got so many different kind of tangents uh, of different ways. You can't explain it. You have to go there to see it. That's the only thing I could suggest for people. So uh, if they're getting a chance and it's near their town, if they're watching right now, they got to definitely go. Because you said, uh, as you mentioned, Asbury Park, New Jersey, and then the weekend after that, Louisville, Kentucky, and then, oh, that's the one with Jim Cornette, I believe, right? He's going to be there with you? Um, that's not confirmed. Oh, okay. He and I are going okay. out for barbecue. Well, there you go. No, yeah, no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> you get me into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I know that he would, uh, all I know is that he'd like to see the show. Yeah, oh, yeah. I know yeah. out for barbecue. But there's nothing formal um, arranged. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, and then uh, the weekend after that, uh, back to your uh, side of the coast, New York City. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, cool. I'm I'm glad that you can you understand now. Like I get frustrated because I want to tell people what the show is like. Yeah, and it's just too involved. Some you know <laughs> in in. But I, yet I have to. People say, "Oh, who's wrestling?" It's like, well. No one's wrestling. <laughs> well, who's going to be there with you? What? Well, not necessarily. You know, sometimes that happens. I have wrestlers that come out to the show just to see the show. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. but they, you know, it's not formal. You know, it's not like um, like I'm paying them to come on stage. It's they just because they've heard so much about it. Oh, absolutely. That they want to experience it because they're all res we're all wrestling fans. Oh yeah. And so, you know, my my only overarching comment can be we celebrate being a wrestling fan yeah I, yeah tara and i i get frustrated <laughs> because because i people who come to see the show love it <laughs> but to get people there and to be fair to them you know to try to explain this is what you're spending your 20 25 dollars on mm -hmm. um, it's challenging yeah yeah that's and true G gmc never does anything simple <laughs> <laughs> Well, again, and, I'm, and I'm a perfectionist too. I can you know, tell. I, yeah, yeah. I take it very seriously that someone, you know, before I started doing this show on a regular basis, I would always say, you know, I never sold a ticket, and I never did all my years of announcing full time. But now I'm selling tickets, and people are coming to to they're trusting me, mm -hmm. and I take that very seriously, mm -hmm. and and I do everything within my power to give them a full entertainment, fun, enjoyable, informational at the same time experience. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell you, I mean, the value, like, uh, for that much money, that that's, like, I mean, it's way, way uh, more valuable than that, like, what you provided. I mean, again, like, your timing on everything was perfect because it's just very entertaining. And, and as I mentioned, I mean, for the money that, like I said, uh, I think it's way more valuable than, you know, uh, again, it's just worth it for anybody who's a real true wrestling fan to be there and enjoy it with you. I mean, yeah, take it from me. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Well, Thank not you. only that, but yeah, I got to say that because also in addition to that, I don't know if uh, my camera's picking up. Uh, oh, for, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to spoil. Don't, 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 I, I'm not going to spoil. I'm not going to give it away. I'm just, uh, for the folks watching, uh, some of them might understand. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I, again, I thought that part was really cool too. Picture with me at the end. They have theirs. Yes, that is right. So if they're so watching, tease it. yes. So there was a little <laughs> teaser right here. I'm not going to say anything else. Uh. <laughs> oh, that was great. I love that. <laughs> well, I loved. I mean, again, I thought that was really cool. I thought that was like, wow, like you know, unexpected and you know, just I, I, your your timing on everything, by the way, like is just impeccable because the whole show just 
runs really smoothly and it just goes from one segment to the next. And as you mentioned too, I like the Q and A at the end too because that's really cool because then anybody's watching and they ask some good questions. By the way, you know the one I went to in Conyers, they asked some really really good questions. Um, uh, you know they they asked some things that I hadn't thought of at, uh, asking either, and I was like, oh wow, I learned something new, and you know, so it was really good, insightful. Th- those were really smart fans that went there. So that, I think that's the other thing. I think you get a lot of smart fans that go to these shows well, too. That's that's a GMC audience. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Only the best. Only the uh, <laughs> best and and highly educated since you're a teacher too. So that's why. <laughs> that is so cool. That's that's great. No, that's so. Let's go back to the um, Asbury Park show. So. Uh, what else can you t- uh, you know here we are we're only a few days out by the time this gets uh, edited and published um, so for the folks who are going to be coming there uh, what are some other things you want to tell them in advance before they get to meet you and uh, see the show in person you know what there's something that's that's it's real mundane but the the office address of the lake house is next door to where the actual theater is ah, but we'll gotcha. have signs outside and it's you know there's parking all around the building it's uh, I think it's 50 cents an hour. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. So it's, so. <laughs> in Queens Theater, I couldn't believe this. In Queens Theater, New York City, they have a free parking lot just for the theater. No kidding. Wow. That's so amazing. Anyone that wants to, uh, you know, to drive, uh, um, it's there's yeah, you, you pull into the complex. I've not been there yet, but I've been told um, you pull into the complex. Um, you know what? That's something that's been challenging. Um, in Conyers, for instance, in the Atlanta area where you saw the show. Yeah. The first time I saw that theater was that afternoon when I arrived. Right, right. So I, you know, and, and we have to, like, I tell them what my needs are, and then I just pray <laughs> that, you know, we can hook up the, really, I need to hook up the audio with them. Yeah, yeah, um, right. Mm-hmm. You know, because I carry the projector, I carry a 100-inch screen with me. Um, so I know you'll be able to see the video just so they have an outlet, <laughs> but you, you can't, you can't like, you can't count on, you, you just can't, you just don't know until you get there. And so, you know, sometimes I, I need to, um, I fit what I do into the space where I'm going because I played improvs. Mm-hmm. I've played, um, little black box theaters, um, clubhouses, you know, all different kinds of um, colleges. So you just have to, I have to adapt to um, the environment. But once again, it's my job to make you forget about where you're sitting and where you are and to draw you into the story and, um, you know, and, and to entertain you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It re- and it, 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 there's not a dull moment that goes by because every moment that's going by, um, it's really exciting. And, and in my case, I got to learn other stuff. Uh, another favorite that I like about the show is the three S's. Again, I'm not going to give anything away, but the the surprising thing about the Iron Mike Sharp is the one I'm describing. That vid- that was really uncomfortable <laughs> kind of to watch. I had no idea that it ever happened. Uh, really? Yeah, I, I don't, you know, I never knew about that. So again, I'm not going to give away anything, but wow, uh, that was incredible. That um, And again, the fact that you have that footage too, I, I'm like, wow, I, yeah, I've never seen this before. <laughs> and I really felt bad for you um, during that video. That was just so uneasy to watch. Uh, that they, they were just really heartless, if you ask me. Those guys, they were just scum. <laughs> yeah. Now, for the for the people that are watching this and listening to this, I did not get my head cut off. It's not like some gory. There was no no blood even. That, like it wasn't gory at all, right? I it could have been. It looked like uh, it wasn't too far away from uh, being that way. <laughs> That was unbelievable, though. Gosh, that, that was crazy. Um, but yeah, most of the people who come, um, they probably know me most from WCW. Yeah. So I do my best to bring people through a lot of the pay per views and the clashes, give you some backstory as to what happened leading up to those from behind the scenes and backstage. Um, you know. And there's only there's only one one time where like the language is a little dicey. <laughs> I, I forewarn you, you know, put your fingers in your ears if you're language sensitive. Yeah, especially with our friend Jim Cornette. <laughs> the the clips there. Did you film those, Gary? Is that your camcorder? Uh, no, the... uh, gorgeous Jimmy Garvin filmed those. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, those were golden. Like those were just like man. Like uh, I, I it was so cool to see those. Um, that was awesome. And then um, 
Also, uh, with the, um, you know, that was another favorite period of time uh, was kind of like the early mid-90s uh, in WCW, and you were ring announcing for them then, and arguably their talent roster was uh, uh, crazy, uh, crazy good. You know, Sting, Rick Rude, Ric Flair, Ricky Steamboat, Steve Austin, I mean, uh, everyone you name, Mick Foley, I mean, they were all there during the time you were there announcing, so that was a really fun time. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, mean Mark Callis. Mark Calloway. Right. Yeah, yeah. Part of the skyscrapers. That's right. I remember that. So That's right. I mean, that was pretty cool. Um I, again, being able to see all that and um and just take, you know, the fans through the ride. And it, it's kind of like if you ask me as a fan, it's almost like going to a movie in a way because you're going there and um you know, in my case it was a theater situation, the lights are dark and you get to watch the screen and you're getting a narration. And so afterwards you feel like you just sat through like a really cool epic movie and you know, it's like a thrill ride because it's like kinda goes up and down and you know, like uh, different uh phases, like some emotional parts with Grill Monsoon and then you know, the the really cool thing at the end with the independent uh, wrestler with the fan, uh I, I thought that was pretty touching and um you know, and then there were just fun parts too, you know, like you were very self deprecating with the outfits you know that uh, you had when you first i remember that like first watching you uh, in the wwwf with the, the big bow tie and the big lapel oh, you know the yeah. huge you know gray uh suit right. and uh, you were always I thought, very... that was, I thought that was cool i thought you it know, was I, too no i really when I did look at, when i look at it now i say oh how geeky <laughs> no no during the time i thought it was very sharp i thought that was very very sharp and uh so that and, and and that was terrific. I mean, again, I I thought that was just so cool to see that um, that whole different story. Just under, it, it's like a story for those of you know, uh, people watching if, uh, to help describe it better. It's like you're watching a story, um, almost in a chronological order from the time you know of your earliest. You said some forty years ago, right? Roughly over just a little bit over forty years. Yes, forty three years ago. I That's started. incredible. And as I mentioned last time, you were about uh, what about three years old or four years old uh, getting into business. <laughs> so. You you look great, Gary. You really do. That's uh, that's amazing. You, so you, you have found the fountain of youth. So you know the um, the er, the you mentioned the segment that I do on independent wrestling. Yes, and I do talk about WWE today. Yeah, yeah, and that's I, right. It's not all old stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I talk about the independence from today. All of those scenes that you saw were from the independent groups that I worked with in the first leg of my tour. Oh, cool. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I teamed up with a, a different independent organization, for instance, in Philly. Mm-hmm. I have my dog here. She's saying hello. Oh, uh, there she is again. Yes. You're going to think I'm, gonna think I'm strange. <laughs> there she is again. <laughs> Harry's here again. Hey, now, Harry. She hey must again. like me, Karen. She must <laughs> talk your voice. I don't know. <laughs> Say hello and then go to bed. Go to hey, bed. Harry. Go to bed. Yeah, we had her on last time. She's adorable. She must have missed you while you were gone, too. No, oh, don't 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 say that because that that hurts me. <laughs> I, feel so, I feel so guilty when I leave her. I leave her in good hands, but um, yeah, when I like when I go to Louisville, I'll be gone for oh, almost yeah. a week. Yeah, um, because the night before Louisville, I'm guest ring announcing in Indiana. Oh, very cool. Nice. That'll be really neat. Uh, what, so what's... I actually have two shows. It's with um, AWA Supreme. I think it's Madison, Indiana. Cool. It's Southern Indiana. Okay. Yeah. So I very rarely do any ring announcing anymore, but I'll be announcing, I think, their main event, and I think Tommy Rich is on that card. Oh, nice. Awesome. Um, yeah, so but getting back to the segment that I do on today's wrestling yeah. in my show, um, all of those clips that you saw, all of those, really, they were pictures, the shots, um, they were just the bells and whistles um, added in. Um, it's, there was Scranton, uh, Scranton, Pennsylvania, chaotic up in new England, um, AAW in Chicago, NWA Supreme in Indianapolis, in Indiana, um, AML in Greensboro. So they were all, um, they were all organizations that I co-promoted with mm-hmm. during my, when I was out with the show in February and March. So it was a tribute to. All indie wrestling, but I use clips from the promotions that I teamed up with. Okay, okay. Now that's great. Yeah, there's a lot of really good content there and uh, really good video clips. So that's a good, uh, you know, you do a very good job with keeping documentation. Like, um, you know, th- those video clips and 
footage, um, however you are able to store them or keep them in file, that's great. You're able to, you know, today's technology, I guess, able to get that on a computer and save it. So that's, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's a matter of time. Mm-hmm. Like it just takes, it takes a whole lot of time. Yeah. Um, yeah. There, there's one picture. Um, I don't know whether you looked at the merchandise table, but I had two tour photos. One is me with Ric Flair mm-hmm. and one is me with Andre the Giant and Bruno San Martino. Mm-hmm. And I cannot find, but I haven't really looked hard. I haven't had time. But that one with Andre and Bruno, there's a second picture that goes with that. That oh. was taken like 30 seconds before that was taken. Because the first time we posed for that picture, Andre took his hand and he put it over my face. <laughs> and the photographer clicked it. Oh, and cool. that probably would sell better than the one that I have. Because <laughs> it's just Andre, Bruno, and me with Andre's huge paw covering my face like a baseball glove. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Yeah. We'll have Fine. to. Yeah, yeah. Someday, if somebody's watching and can dig it up, uh, you never know. Um, again, with today's technology and Google and everything, you never know. It's out there somewhere. I think. It's only me and the photographer that has it. That's incredible. Wow. It's never been put out. It's like a, a picture that I took. Um, I was at a convention this past Saturday, uh-huh. and I reunited with a lot of the guys I hadn't seen in a while. And I was looking forward to seeing Howard Finkel because he usually hosts that convention. Mm-hmm. And the last time I saw him was three years ago, which was the last time I was at that convention. And um, he had come by, and he said, Gary, you think – and he had a guy with him with a camera – he said, you think we could take a picture together? So I said, sure, let's take a picture. That's another picture that I, I don't – I've never put that out. I mean I've never put that on anything. Oh. So that's probably the only picture with Howard Finkel and myself together. Oh, neat. Oh, very, very cool. Wow, wow. I have to dig that one up too. Yeah, yeah. If you find that, let us know. That will be really cool. Um that's terrific, Gary. Well, again, you know, um, you got so much going on and you're so, so, so busy. Um, I, you know, again, we really appreciate having you on here all the time and, uh, let's definitely get you back, um, after the next several shows. Thank you. Um, after you're done with this next, uh, tour of three, uh, more shows coming up, uh, let's get you back and see how those go. And, um, again, you know, you're, you're just the man, you just keep doing it. And, um, I got to tell everybody out there if they get a chance. So what's the best – what do we plug here for the Eventbrite for them uh, so that they can uh, get the tickets here for the show? Well, Eventbrite.com. Yeah. Eventbrite.com. It's B-R-I-T-E. It's Eventbrite.com. Right. Um, They can go to my Facebook page with clickable links to all the events, which is Facebook.com slash my initials G-M-C. Number four, real GMC for real. Um, right, that's perfect. probably, you know, you can go there and go to my event listings in Asbury Park, Louisville, Queens, New York. I'm already listed there. Perfect. We'll get that up on the screen too when we fade to black here. Um, but that's terrific, Gary. That's awesome. Uh, again, just uh, good luck with the next uh, couple of weekends here and uh, safe travels and. Um, I'm watching the clock closely. I know I promised to get you out of here. You got another. You had an interview before me, and now you got another appointment coming up. So you're pretty booked up here with uh, interviews. I see too with your schedule. Just trying to get the word out. That's trying good. To get the word out about where I'm going to be the next three weekends. Yeah. That's excellent. That's very very good. Well, that's terrific. Well, um, Gary, I'm, I'm excited for you. So um, that's going to be a lot but, of fun. But, but yes, I have to say this is the only interview that I've ever done with someone who's seen the show. Oh, you know, we're cool. not just yeah, that's about great. Yeah. What was happening. You're the only one that I've ever spoken to on the record that's being recorded <laughs> as someone who has seen it. Oh, and great. I, Thank you. I'm honored. And and what you said about the show is all on you. Like I didn't I, if you had come on and you said I hated it, you know, then I just have to deal with it. But <laughs> So like I didn't like you like I'm not, I'm not paying you under the table for this. <laughs> well, you did kind of bribe me though, didn't you? I, I don't know. <laughs> Anybody who's going to be at the show, they'll get the joke afterwards if they don't understand yet. So they'll see. So, but um, no, Gary, that's great. Um, I appreciate. It. I'm I'm uh, flattered to be your first, and uh, you know that that's amazing. That's awesome. So I, I love that. I like to hear that. That. Uh, you know, we have you here, and um, you know, I, I think this is great. Let's let's definitely get you back here next month and see how the shows yeah. went. Because you're giving people who ha- who are thinking about coming, 
you know, you, this may be the deciding right. fact. Yeah. You know, it, because you're a, like an independent, honest journalist who's giving their um, – their unbiased view. Very true. And yes. If they live in Asbury Park or Louisville or New York City, you know, this video should be to get them to push them over the edge and say, look, you know, uh, there, there must be a reason why you're listening to this interview right now. So uh, go to it, get to Eventbrite uh, or to uh, Gary's Facebook page and get the ticket today. So that'll be terrific. Yeah. That's definitely well worth it. Trust me, everybody. Thanks, Darren. I appreciate it. Thank you, Gary. My pleasure, as always. Um, we love having you on here, and uh, keep doing it. Um, you know, we're just really impressed with everything you're doing with the shows, and um, so we'll definitely look forward to having you back on here next month after the uh, next round of shows here. And um, good luck, safe journeys, and uh, we'll look forward to having you back on here again, Gary. Appreciate it. It was great meeting you down in Atlanta. Thanks. Likewise, I, I look forward to hopefully meeting you soon again uh, in person, and we'll uh, have some time to either get barbecue afterwards or go out for a drink too. Ooh, That'll be fun. So, CC's Pizza, maybe. There you go. Yeah, I love CC's. Definitely, that'll be fun. <laughs> no, you know, you're a trainer. You're a fit, physical fitness guy. You're not supposed to be advocating pizza. It's our everything in moderation. We could burn it off. We'll do some burpees afterwards. So. <laughs> I, I do. Not, I do nothing in moderation, and I do burp a lot. <laughs> there you go <laughs> oh my goodness all right gear well thank you you're the man and uh, everyone else uh, out there we'll see y'all thanks for watching and we fade to black here comes the website link one more time we'll see you gary thank you